Another day, another battle to conquer. Why do I feel I'm always left behind? I try my best to make myself proud. But why do I feel like it's the other way around? What do I really want? Am I not good enough? Should I really change? Am I happy where I am today? Countless thoughts. Start the habit of asking yourself, does this support the life I am trying to create? Will it help me to be more passionate? It might be a simple question for some of you, but me? This question's brought changes. Well, life is not about who you once were. It's about who you are now and who you have the potential to be. Blessed day to all of you. I am Kayin Kaila Elseril, your speech-language pathologist from the city of Mandaluyong. I am now 37 years old, currently working at Bright's Mind Speech Occupational Therapy Center at Taguig City. I am also in the middle of fixing my own therapy center in our province, Rizal Nueva Ecija. I remember when I was in 9th grade, we have this activity in edukasyon sa pagpapakatao or also known as ESP that we will dress as the job we want to be. And then, my classmate asked me, Anong job mo? Then I replied, Speech language pathologies. Then she curiously asked me, Anong i-speech mo? That day, I don't know what I should feel because that was also the day that I realized the lack of knowledge when it comes to these conditions. That was not the first time that I encounter questions about my course, but whenever they ask me, I feel so excited to share my knowledge with them. I grew up having the courage of helping people, especially the people in need. I and my friends have this activity every October where we will prepare food and share it to homeless people. It started when we are in ninth grade, and I am proud that it is still continuous and I am still doing it with the people who joined since day one. You may not ask, I am a coffee lover and it is such a dream for me to have my own cafe. I remember I was dreaming about it when I was in 10th grade and here I am now, the owner of Cafe Hiraya Cafe at BGC. I am not bragging these things just because I want to. I did it to serve as an inspiration to all of you. Achieving this dream is not just a piece of cake. It was full of obstacles, heartaches, and sacrifices. Indeed, I achieved it by His grace, by the help of Him. I spent my elementary days at International Baptist College School. I studied there for eight years. That school became my comfort zone. I found a family there. But then, things change. My family has a high hopes for me, so they applied me to a public science school. Mataas, napaaralang Neptale A. Gonzalez School under Science, Technology, Engineering program. When my mom told me about this, I feel so frightened. I overthink a lot. It is my first time getting out of my comfort zone, but my family serves as my inspiration throughout that journey. The fact that they believe in me made me stronger. I didn't expect that worries turns into happiness. High school life was the best. It was a four years journey where strangers turns into family. They let me express my true self. They let me share my talents. They let me learn. And most especially, they let me be me. I can say that through my high school era, I discover myself. I do have self-growth. Then my family challenge and believe in me again. They want me to study at one of the best university here in the Philippines. PUP. Familiar? Polytechnic University of the Philippines, where I was taught by the reality of life, I met wonderful people that inspires me to strive harder and they let me learn new things in life. As I grow older, it makes me cry how wonderful the plan of our Lord is. It was perfect. My baby step brought huge changes. 
it might be just a baby step but baby step is the most important thing in your growth all things takes time and without baby steps I will not achieve all of this. I no longer force things. What flows, flows. What crashes, crashes. I do believe in his plan, in his timing. And sometimes, you need to stop being scared. We need to take the risk. Appreciate where you are in your journey, even if it's not where you want to be. Reminder, don't close the door for opportunities. Start where you are. Use what you have. Do what you can. As long as we're breathing, it is not too late to change your story. Trust Him in your journey. If we focus on the heartaches, we will continue to suffer. But when we focus on the lesson itself, we will continue to grow. Everyone's growth looks different, so might as well stop comparing your growth to other people. Are you content with what you are right now? If yes, good for you! Well, if not, don't let yourself suffer. We cannot become what we want by remaining what we are. And to change how we feel, we should also change the way how we think. Self-growth is not fast as you thought. It's a lifelong process. As we grow older, we will realize things that will help us in our growth. Imagine a stair. Our growth is like a stairs. We can't go to the top by just taking a step. It will take us few steps to achieve the highest one. That is how important baby step is. It helps us to pursue and achieve our goals perseveringly. It teaches us to focus on the stair in front of us, not the whole staircase. One day, you will take a look back and realize that all along your journey, you were blooming. Always remind yourself that self-growth and heartaches are a partner in life. There are circumstances that you will be hurt so bad to the point that you just want to stay all day in your bed crying, eating ice cream, and you just feel so tired, so hurt. I experienced that, and I know it's really hard. Despite the heartaches, remind yourself that you are allowed to rest, refresh, reflect, and recover. You don't need to overwork yourself. You don't need to constantly work just to be successful and happy. Yes, I know we need to strive harder as we pursue our dreams. But it is 10 times harder when you know it to yourself that you are suffering. How your life feels is more important than how your life looks. This journey is a trial and error that will test our strength and weaknesses. I am very proud that you are still here. I know we have different weathers inside of us and it is valid. You deserve all my respect and understanding in the process of your self-growth. Keep taking time until you're you again. And remember, there's no failure in your growth. There's no such word as failure. We either win or learn. Today, I hope my message serves you well. And if you feel like you are left behind, it's a big no. We are all in this together in the journey of self-growth. Have a great day ahead.